Hey, 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 everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on this Sunday, I think it is. Yes, it is Sunday, August the 18th, 2024. What you say? So I'm here. Just had my coffee. I, I drank a lot of coffee. I love it. And I don't care what anyone says, you know, about the kind of foods you eat. You just have to monitor it and how it makes you feel. Does it interfere with your energy? Does it do this? Does it have any kind of negative, uh, re, you know, responses in your body? But anyway, I used to drink a lot of stuff that was not necessarily healthy for me. But a lot of it, uh, what has what happened is that the ingredients changed. All of our food has chemicals in it, and so I know a lot of people are, are debating that. Yes, if I can grow my own garden, honey trust this sister here i would and i will those are my plans and goals to have a small uh plot of land and be able to just do some things you know that's physically possible um it's it's it's, it's a battle to know what to do but the main thing is don't go extreme about anything don't be fanatical it's okay to be skeptical which you ought to be. It's okay to be called a critic, called being cynical. All of those things are just labeling anyway. They usually don't represent the whole big picture because most people don't take the time to get to know someone. And I told you to get to know someone is an act of love. So just stay focused and present and conscious about what you're doing, what you're eating, what you're listening to. Because it's obvious, the music, you know, when it comes to listening, the music has, the lyrics have changed for a lot of the music. I mean, the lyrics, I told you, back in the 60s, 70s, and parts of the 80s, and parts of the 90s, the lyrics were magnificent, to say the least, inspiring. Uh, I mean, if you want to be motivated, because a lot of people want to be motivated, you know, that music from the 60s, 70s, parts of the 80s parts of the 90s uh the soul music is what they used to call it uh i mean it actually touches you know the solar plex of your body or of your structure or whatever you want to call it you know it it, it goes it actually goes more spiritual more energy you know sounds and tones i talk about that a lot because that has a a factor in understanding and helping us develop sounds and tones and that's why you need to watch how you are you know or watch your melody make sure your melody is in tune so but anyway um i, I get up this morning uh again i'm enthusiastic and and happy to get up in the mornings you know what i mean <laughs> and especially have my cup of coffee get my day going get my get my spark you know i'm looking for that I always like that spark of energy. That's constantly being impulse, by the way, but sometimes we miss them. You know, uh, impulses are going continuously, continuously. And so sometimes you, you get hit and sometimes you don't. But, it, it, you know, it feels good to me um, that I have an opportunity to figure things out. You know, that's our responsibility too, is to figure things out. And not necessarily uh, pay attention to what the popular voices are saying to us. There's a lot of popular voices out there that have been around for decades. And they're upset. I could tell a lot of them are upset because nobody paid them any attention. Nobody took them seriously. And a lot of them were just rambling dogma. A lot of them thought because they were highly educated, quote unquote, you know, they had a master's degree. They were some type of scholar, you know, these intellectual talking heads are coming forward massively. And if anybody's paying attention to them and they always say, well, you know, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. There are always those I told you so's, you know, like, you know, like, and a lot of it is just saving face. Pay attention. A lot of people are saving face because they dropped the ball and now we're at the brink of you know, disaster in certain areas, especially with our uh, infrastructure and our climate. And so, so many people have dropped the ball and now they're coming back, you know, attempting to save face and ramble and lie and cover up. 
all that kind of stuff. It's being exposed. So as an individual, make sure you are grounded and that you're walking the talk. You can back up what you say. I can back up what I've said and done. But do I need to? No. What do I need to do? I don't need to compete against any uh, anything like that. My There is proof of things I've done. I put out videos to prove certain things that I've done. A lot of videos. But if anyone wants to know something, you have to search. You have to research on your own. You can't, you know, this spoon feeding each other or being spoon fed by, you know, certain quote unquote leaders and whoever scientists engineers whoever in innovators visionaries whatever i mean they failed but that they didn't see it as an opportunity they saw it as a uh, opportunity for revenge and retaliation however and that's what's happening so stay uh conscious stay woke and just stay grounded enjoy these moments again enjoy these moments there are some some interesting things coming forward that has never happened before. So that's why I say you, the individual, you have uh, an opportunity, just like anybody else does, to make an impact. Now it's almost like a, a even playing field, so to speak. But you have to figure that out on your own to what know what that means. If if you don't know, you know, in other words. You can't rely on other people to be thinking for you. You have to think for yourself. We all have consciousness. We just have to activate them, and I can help you do so. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up my day, finish up my morning with my normal routines, get me something to eat again, as I love to do, and I'm enjoying the moments, and I suggest you do the same. Peace and love, and trust me, I will be back. <laughs>